at a price of $350 per unit, a certain company sells 200 units per week. Okay. A marketing consultant advised the company So let me continue on the next page. <clears throat> that for $10 per unit rebate, rebate or discount, uh, the sales the sales will increase by 20 units per week. We really need to do two things. The first thing, we need to find a, uh, a price function. So find the demand or price function. B, what we want to do is find what rebate, at what rebate the company will maximize its revenue. Right, at what rebate will the company maximize its revenue? But being a damn foreigner, uh, I, uh, I need to learn a little bit more English after 26 years. John? Are they saying for every $10, it's going to go up like Precisely. At least we need to assume so. So, uh, there is, but um, we'll find out that they have, let's say they have 500 suites, okay? But at this point, really, the way the problem is presented to you, there is no upper limit. So the assumption is, hey, if they, if they uh, end up having, uh, if the best or the result of the optimization that they have, they're going to have more units than, they need more units than they have that they can get more units, either build or, or sublet or do something. Or they have more, they have enough units available. So we are not going to look at the endpoints in this case, okay? Or we're going to find just critical numbers. But first, John uh, asked a very clever question is, can we assume that for every $10 we increase by, by, 10, by uh, 20 units? The answer is yes. Okay, so we assume linearity. So we assume linearity. And then we set up a little table like so, P, X and P, quantity and price, okay? What's given to us is for, tw for price of 350, we have 200 units. And for the $10 less, so $10 rebate, price of 340, we increase by 20 units. So we'll write delta P here. So delta P will be negative 10, and delta Q, X, the quantity, will be plus 20. And this will give us, since we assume linearity, here's the slope, delta P over delta X, or 
it will be negative 10 over 20, negative one half. And now we're going to write a point slope form of equation, okay? We're going to say that P of X, and I'll choose 200 and 350, okay, will be P of 200 plus M times X minus 200, like so, point slope form. So it will be 350 minus one half, X minus 200, or uh, negative one half times negative 200 is positive 100. So we're looking at 450 minus one half times X, like so. So this is our demand function, okay? And you can see that the price will go down as X increases. As we, as the demand increases, then the price will go down. Now we need to maximize the revenue. So part B, the revenue function is X times P of X, right? Quantity times the price. So it will be 450 X minus one half X squared. Assume linearity of the function P of X, the price. I should have mentioned that. So <clears throat> now we find critical numbers by taking the derivative R prime of X equals 450 minus 1 half times 2X, so minus 6, and it's equal to 0. Therefore, we get quickly the quantity is 450. Okay? And here we assume that they have enough units. What would be the new price? Well, the price function is right there, so P at the quantity of 450 is 450 minus 1 half times 450, which is 225, so turn out it's 225. So the new price, P, equals $225 per unit. Notice what happened. We, from 200 units, we jumped to $450 to 450 units, more than double the quantity, the number of units, by reducing the price, the rebate itself is the old price minus new price. So we are looking at, uh, at 450, I'm sorry, at 350 minus 225, so the rebate is $125 per unit. This is a huge rebate, huge discount. But this is, this is a successful campaign in terms of the company because what happened is they knocked off $125 uh, of the unit price, but they jacked up the sales by more than double. Uh, they more than double the sales to 450. I bet you the revenue is huge after this campaign. All right, this is the end of today's class. I'm going to give you one more example tomorrow, and then we'll move on to another topic.